Here let us see or let us learn the decimal representation of rational numbers. The remainder is zero. And I'll get back to this after I solve an example. The first question would be 35 by 16. So let us convert this rational number into a decimal. Or let's represent this in the form of a decimal. So let us simply divide 35 by 16. So 16 2 times gives 32. The remainder is 3. 3 is not divisible by 16. Therefore, we need to add a 0. We need to place a decimal point next to the quotient. Now, 16 1 times gives 16. The remainder is 14. 14 is not divisible by 16. Therefore, add a 0. 16 8 times gives you 128. The remainder is 12, which again is not divisible by 16. Therefore, add another 0. 16 7 times gives 112. The remainder is 8, add a 0, 16 5 times is 80. So here the remainder is 0. So while converting a rational number into decimal, whenever we get a remainder as 0, that means the remainder is a finite decimal or a terminating decimal. So we have the quotient such that it stops after one point. So let us go to another example. 2157 divided by 625. So let us divide 2157 by 625. 625 3 times gives 1875. The remainder of which is 282. 282 is not divisible by 625. Therefore, add a 0 and place a decimal point. So, 625 4 times gives 2500, whose remainder is 320, again, which is not divisible by 625. So, add another 0. So, 625 5 times gives 3125. Here, the remainder is 75. Let us add a 0 because 75 is not divisible by 625. So 625 1 time is 625. The remainder here is 125. And 125 again is not divisible by 625. So therefore let us add another 0. So here 625 2 times gives us 1250. We have a remainder of 0. So 3.4512 is the decimal representation of rational number 2157 by 625. Similarly here 2.1875 is the decimal representation of the rational number 35 by 16. So let us take another example. Let us represent minus 17 by 8 in the form of a decimal. So let us now divide 17 by 8. So 8 2 times gives us 16, 1 remainder, 1 is not divisible by 8, therefore let us add a 0, let's place a decimal point, 8 1 times is 8, remainder is 2 which is again not divisible by 8, so therefore add another 0, 8 2 times is 16, remainder is 4 which is not divisible by 8, therefore add another 0, 8 5 times gives us 40, so here we get a remainder of 0, so therefore 2.125 is the decimal representation of 17 by 8, but the question here is minus 17 by 8. Minus 17 by 8 is minus 2.125. Therefore, the decimal representation of minus 17 by 8 is minus 2.125.